Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Song Jong Suk from Korea Foundation for the Advancement of Science and Creativity. I'd like to make presentation about the fundamentals of AI, which were was reflected in Korean national curriculum in September. We have developed the AI Fundamentals course, which was announced for the first time in Korea in September, which was adopted in the national curriculum. So I'd like to introduce to you about the content of our national AI curriculum, and I will explain about other subjects that, that are related to the AI. So you may not be familiar with the system of national curriculum in Korea. In Korea, when we feel that we need to teach students a certain subject that does not exist, we uh, actually ask the Office of Education for their approval on the creation of such a curriculum. So our foundation created several subjects uh, to be reflected in the national curriculum, so I'm going to explain about them as well. First of all, I'd like to explain about information education, which serves as the foundation for AI education. We call this information subject as computer education or software information. I am saying uh, information education because the title of the subject is information at schools. In Korea, computer education related subject is uh, called information, which is different for each school level. For elementary schools, we provide software education under the subject name practical course which is for fifth to sixth graders. So officially, the software education starts from the fifth to sixth grade. They focus on experiencing how software works. And at middle schools, the name of the subject is information. Information is um, a official subject. So all middle schools are supposed to have this information course information subject and the name of the subject for high school students is also information this is not mandatory but elective course so according to the data from the office of education about 50 percent of high school students choose to take the information subject and these days many students demand education on information more so later on when we um it's implement a new uh, credit system at high schools, the more students will be willing to take information course. So this is the curriculum for high schools. There's a subject which is called um, career path elective course. So these are the subjects the general high school students learn. And there's a specialized course for example, there, uh, there are subjects related to computer, which is called information science, customized to the students at um, the science specializing high schools. And students also learn about computer related subjects like uh, computation, but such pr subjects are for students who would like to get a job after graduation from high schools. As mentioned before, information education is the basics of AI. So before taking the AI subjects at high schools, students first take the information course at middle school. So we need to figure out the level of middle school students at middle school, the subjects are categories in, categorized into four areas. In the first domain, they learn about information culture. In the second category, they learn about data and information. The third domain is problem solving and programming. 
So we selected the three core concepts for this. The first one is abstraction. Abstraction is to understand the problem and draw out the, the, the key factors. So abstraction is one of the key concepts. And the other concept is algorithm and programming, which actually uh, put what algorithm represents into practice. The last domain for middle school's information course is computer system, which is related to um, controlling hardware. So middle school students learn about these courses and, they, and then they come to high school to learn about the fundamentals of AI. AI fundamentals are related to information course. That is to explore the principles and technologies of AI based on the knowledge of information culture, computing thinking, and cooperative problem solving. There are four domains for the fundamentals of AI. Firstly, what is AI and what kind of future will be brought about by the AI? That's the first domain. In the second domain, we let students experience the characteristics of AI and learn the uh, applications of AI. The third domain is one of the hottest domains. The third domain is about machine learning and data. So we teach students the attributes of data in the third domain. And in the fourth domain, students understand what AI is and how AI works. So in the fourth domain, they learn about what kind of advantages or disadvantages there are uh, brought by the AI. They also learn about the ethical issues of AI in the fourth domain. So this is structured as a career elective course. So students, once graduated from middle school, can take the fundamentals of AI as a career elective course. And we are trying to refrain from using too difficult um, technical terminologies. And the goals of fundamentals of AI, the basic purpose is to help students foster their basic knowledge of AI, learn about um, ethics of AI, and increase the ability to use AI. Also, we're trying to foster students' creative problem-solving competencies. In the first domain of uh, the fundamentals AI, we learn about intelligent agents. For example, in Korea, AlphaGo is very well known, which is an intelligent agent. So we interact with or meet with a lot of intelligent agents with AI algorithm embedded in itself. And in the second area, people often associate AI with machine learning, but AI includes not only learning, but also recognition, search, and reference. So recognition, search, and reference, and learning are the key concepts of AI, and there are many tools helping students experience what those core concepts are. And learning is one of the hottest um, topics, which is related to machine learning. So I'm going to briefly explain about the curriculum related to machine learning. The third domain includes data and machine learning. As mentioned before, there are so many things to deal with under the third domain, but here we deal with machine learning model, and there's a project for students to participate in to actually implement the machine learning model. And 
we think that the classification model is one of the most proper models to be taught um, at high schools. And lastly, the fourth domain is about social impact of AI. In the three domains previously, a student learned and experienced how AI works. And in the fourth domain, students learn the positive influence and negative influence of AI, and they also discuss the impact of AI on the society. So, so far, I explained to you about the official AI-related or information-related courses, and there are other types of subjects that are not officially included in the regular curriculum but are approved and recognized by the uh, education authorities to be taught to the students. So our foundation is developing various uh, curriculums to be included in the curriculum for schools. So this is a list of subjects that we developed as um, textbooks and subjects to be taught to the high school students after the approval from the government. So for two of those uh, subjects, we have already received re official recognition from the, the Ministry of Education. And after approval on our application for developing these list of uh, curriculums and textbooks, we start developing the detailed content. And we expect that uh, many schools will be using uh, the curriculums and courses we developed. We also support teachers and provide trainings for teachers. And we also support schools to transform the obsolete computer rooms into innovative uh, information lab. And in order to enhance the potential of uh, teachers, we are carrying out uh, projects to enhance the teacher's competency. So we will continue our efforts for further development of software and AI-related education in Korea.